have to go outside. Actually, I have to go completely off of the property. I'm gonna beat this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back and we are currently pulling out of the parking garage at the Ronald McDonald house because you can't vape on the ground. You can't smoke, but they also don't want me to vape on the property, which is fine. I'm not going to break any of their rules. Definitely can't vape in indoors, but they don't want you actually even on the property at all either. So we're on our way out and I've got the UL Whirl. I'm so excited to give this a try. I have vaped already, so this isn't my first vape back, but um, I did record my first vape ever, well, not ever, but since giving birth, and that was on my favorite vape. If you don't know what that is, you'll find out later when I do, like, I'm gonna do a different type of video. This is my first, like, vape video, and I'm so excited. I am so excited, and I do have my cloud kiss in here. So yes, this is the Whirl. Let's go dive down close. I'll show you what comes in the kit and how to work this little guy. All right guys, here is the packaging that the Whirl 20 kit comes in. On the back of the box, we do have the specifications and the kit contents. So let's open it up. Right on top, we do have a warning about the coil, an FDA warning, a user's manual, a do not eat packet. And then here is the Whirl. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. And I have the iridescent one. Ooh, that is so Oh, pretty love it so this is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be and um, definitely smaller than like the nunchuck that they came out with it does say whirl here on the side Looks like we've got adjustable airflow right here it is not on a stopper so you can just spin that all the way around and it's only on one side the fire button is here and on the bottom is the micro usb port for charging over here in the goodie box we do have a spare glass piece and a dust cover so here is the spare glass tube and the dust cover for the drip tip we have a micro usb to usb charge cord spare o-rings and two coils these are 0.6 ohm, good between 18 and 22 watts. So again, like I said, this thing is pretty small. It does have a 20.2 millimeter diameter and is 110.8 millimeters long, weighing about 80 grams. The tank is tiny, it does hold two mils of e-liquid, so it is TPD compliant. This is a stainless steel and quartz glass construction. The coils have nichrome wire in them, and the maximum wattage that this does is 25 watts. It is self-adjusting as it only has a single fire button. So that's a three to 3.8 voltage range, and you should not use a coil lower than 0.6 ohm and no higher than one ohm. It does have a built-in rechargeable 700 milliamp hour battery. So pretty simple to use. It does have a removable drip tip that you can change out if you want to, but this purple rimmed one matches perfectly. To install a coil and fill the tank, you simply remove this piece, and then it is a plug and pull coil system, so there are no threads, so you do have to stick this down in there and push it down nice and snug. It does have O-rings at the top of the coil. So there it's nice and snug and you can see that there is a max fill. So you fill on either side, avoiding the center. I am going to fill mine with, you guessed it, my flavor Cloud Kiss. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off this flavor at bonsaivapor.com or you can use that code for any flavor on Bonsai's website. But Cloud Kiss is my very first flavor, and it is a strawberry cake batter, and it is oh so good. All right, so you got it filled up, and you attach this piece back and screw it back into place. Let the cotton wick up, and then give it a whirl. <laughs> Get it, because it's the whirl. All right, so I'll let this wick up and then we'll take it back to the car and I'll vape it for you guys. All right guys, so that is the Whirl kit. Now, this isn't how I'm going to do all of my videos. I still need to figure out 
how I'm gonna do all my videos because obviously driving around in the car is not the best way to do this but it's really I don't want to sit somewhere outside for one it's so hot and for two it would just look so weird for me to be sitting like on a bench talking to a camera while vaping so for now we are driving around in the car but let's give this guy a vape five clicks turns it on and it's been waking up and I'm sure it's good so here we go my first, technically, my first vape for you guys to see. Ooh, so that's, I have the airflow all the way open and that's a lot of airflow. Let me just try again. Okay, that's better. So I don't know how well this is gonna work. Mine's kind of shaky, see? And this is why the driving in the car thing can't be a, can't be a for sure thing because I'm like holding my my phone and trying to record at the same time and it's gonna be pretty bumpy for them anyways at first I thought the airflow was gonna be a lot like it was like too much but on that second puff it's fine I usually like all the way open airflow anyway but the flavor also coming through and it's actually coming through almost better than my favorite vape which is the only other vape that I've used since vaping again and I'm liking my flavor more on this than my traditional favorite vape, so, uh oh. Mm, that is a good flavor. So, it is putting out a pretty big cloud for being a 0.6 ohm and then also only being like between, it's a self adjusting and it only goes up to 25 watts, which I normally vaped when I would. When I vaped on the Cup D and had like set wattage, I would do like 55, but I haven't used the Cup D in a long time. And what I use now, my favorite vape, is a self-adjusting one as well. And I can't remember, it's been too long, I can't remember how high that goes up, but this is a low wattage and so I'm pretty impressed with that cloud. Yum. Oh my god so i've only been enjoying my flavor on my favorite vape and this brings it out so much better so it's like kind of like a whole new not a whole new flavor but i'm getting a lot more of my flavor from this one than the one that i've been using for the last what i've been vaping for maybe like almost a week now because i didn't vape right away after giving birth either bitch why are my clouds going down yum and it's not getting warm i was waiting for it to get warm but it's so little so cute actually perfect i'm not usually one to like um mods and tanks i like all in ones but this is so small and handheld that i could definitely see myself liking this and using this and definitely just it fits in my purse and it would fit in like even a smaller purse in my purse like a like a night out purse but i don't know how many nights out i'm actually gonna ever have now that i'm a mother so i'm gonna turn the airflow down and see what that does i'm gonna just turn it to halfway but the two, it's halfway open, but it's the two bigger holes because I noticed that the holes uh, go down in size, so. So that's fine, but no, I am traditionally an all the way open airflow type person, so I definitely wouldn't want the halfway open airflow with the two smaller holes either, and I definitely want all four of the holes open for my, for my vape. I am loving it. I definitely think I'm gonna have to come back and do like a, a oops, sorry, an update video for you guys with this because I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would, especially because my flavor comes through so much better on this than my favorite vape. That's it's been my favorite. I don't know when did the Joy Tech Penguin come out because that's been my favorite all time vape for since it came out. Ouch! Just hit my tooth.
All right, guys, that's the world. And it does have protection features. I don't have a list of what they are, but it does have some protection features, which you know I cannot live without. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. This is my first, this is my comeback video. <laughs> it's like not even like my normal style of video. I will figure out definitely a better way to film the vaping because I can do like the up close breakdowns and stuff inside our room at the Romano McDonald house, but I can't actually vape it. So I need to figure out, oh my God, the best way to do that because this is too bumpy sorry guys sorry if you guys are getting what's uh, road sick what's the word car motion, sick. Motion sick motion sick um check the description box below for important links like where to follow me outside of youtube facebook instagram twitter snapchat i'm going to be doing giveaways for the world over on my social medias and um, i also have a patreon account where i do vape related monthly rewards over there so if that's something that might interest you you can check the link below to that as well and one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.